Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integrals. For number 1, we have the integral of 3 dx. So, by the way, here are the formula that we can use to evaluate the following integrals. So, for the first one, we have the integral of dx is simply equal to x plus c. The integral of c, f of x dx, where c here is a constant, is just equal to c times the integral of f of x dx. And the integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, provided that n is not equal to negative 1. So therefore, to evaluate this first integral, integral of 3 dx, we can apply this formula. We can put the constant 3 in front of the integral. So we have 3 times the integral of dx. And then, we know from the formula that we have the first one, the integral of dx is just equal to x. So finally, we will have 3 times the integral of dx, which is x, plus the constant of integration plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of x cubed dx. This time, we can apply the third formula, which is the power rule. So we have the integral of x raised to the third dx. So our n here is 3. Applying this formula, we can have this form as the answer. We simply have x raised to add 1 to n. So our n is 3, so we will have x raised to 3 plus 1 over n plus 1, so the same as 3 plus 1 plus c. Simplifying this, we will have x raised to 3 plus 1, that will be 4, over 3 plus 1, also 4 plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer, x to the fourth over 4 plus c. For number 3, we have the integral of 2 square root of x dx. So, we can apply the second property. We can put the 2 in front of the integral first. So, we have 2 integral of the square root of x dx. Then, before we can apply the power rule, we can transform this square root of x as a fractional exponent first. So, we will have 2 times the integral of, we know that square root of x it's the same as x raised to 1 half dx. And therefore, applying power rule, so we will have 2 times the integral of x raised to 1 half is x raised to 1 half, add 1 to the exponent 1 half, over the same exponent 1 half plus 1 plus c. Then simplifying, we will have 2 times x raised to 1 half plus 1, that will be 3 halves, over 1 half plus 1, also 3 halves, plus c. And then we just need to simplify this complex fraction. So we will have 2 times. We need to get the reciprocal of 3 halves. So the reciprocal of 3 halves is 2 thirds. So we will multiply 2 by 2 thirds. Then times x raised to 3 halves plus c. Simplifying, multiply 2 times 2 thirds. So that will be 4 over 3 x raised to 3 halves plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. For number 4, we have the integral of dx over x to the 4th. So before we can apply here the power rule, we can transform this first into negative exponent. So remember that if we have x raised to negative n is equal to 1 over x raised to n. So if we get the negative exponent of this 1 over x to the 4th, so it's equal to x raised to negative 4 dx. And by applying power rule, we can have integral of x raised to negative 4, that will be x raised to negative 4 plus 1, over negative 4 plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we have x raised to negative 4 plus 1, that's negative 3, over negative 4 plus 1, also negative 3 plus c. Then, if we simplify further, let's make the exponent positive. So, we will have negative 1 over 3 times, so x raised to negative 3, that's the same as 1 over x to the third plus c, 
or we can rewrite this as negative 1 over 3 times x cubed. So we have negative 1 over 3x cubed plus c. For number 5, we have the integral of 2dx over the cube root of x. So we can put first this constant 2 in front of the integral. So we will have 2 integral of dx over the cube root of x. So likewise here, we have a radical. So we can transform this first into fractional exponent. So we know that cube root of x is also the same as x raised to one third. And again, we have a power of x under the denominator. We can transform this first into negative exponent. So that's equal to x raised to negative one third dx. And therefore, we can apply the power rule. So we have two times the integral of x raised to negative one third. We have x raised to negative one third plus one over negative one third plus one plus c. Simplifying, we have 2 times x raised to negative 1 third plus 1. That will be positive 2 thirds over negative 1 third plus 1, also 2 thirds plus c. So simplifying the complex fraction, we need to multiply the constant 2 by the reciprocal of 2 thirds. So that will be 3 halves, then times x raised to 2 thirds plus c. Simplifying 2 times 3 halves, so we can cancel the 2. We are left with 3 times x raised to 2 thirds plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.